when that, that was going on, we're talking like you talk about things when they're going on that you don't quite appreciate while they're happening, what's really happening and how important they are. At that particular moment, I knew what was happening was very important and very serious. And that it, you know, I totally understood that. And the ramifications of fucking it up were chiugic, <laughs> you know? And this girl uh, once OD'd on us. And she was out, man. And it was my fr myself and his, and his her boyfriend. And he said, uh, and her heartbeat was dropping down. And we got everything out, oxygen, and nothing was working. And he looked at me, and he says, well, you're going to have to give her an adrenaline shot. I said, what are you talking about? He's, I said, you give it to me. He says, I can't. It's like a doctor working on someone in his own family. I said, that's bullshit. You've known her two days. Who the fuck is that? You know, and he, and, and he said, no, I can't do it. And so I, I had, we had the medical dictionary. You know how you give an adrenaline shot? Okay, your adrenaline needle's like about that big, and you've got to give it into the heart. And you have to put it in a stabbing motion and then plunge down on a thing. She's got a breast plate. So you've got to pierce through that. So what you got to do is you've got to bring the needle down in a stabbing motion. i I got I to gotta stab her three times. No, you don't got to fucking stab her three times. You've got to stab her once, but it's got to be hard enough to get through her breast plate into her heart, all right? And then once you do that, you pr press down on the, the plunger. Okay, then, what's ha then what happens? I got the medical dictionary out, looked it up, got a magic marker, made a magic marker on where her heart was, measured down, <laughs> measured down like a, uh, two or three ribs, and measured in between there, and I just stood there and I went. <sighs> and then, uh, and she came back like that. She just came right back like that. And I did, I, I really, I was stoned. I had to reach down really far and deep to get some control to go ahead and go ahead and do that. But it was amazing. Like, almost exactly like the film. I, I didn't get finished hitting that syringe, that plunger all the way down before she was up and wide awake. I, however, removed the needle before that happened. Uh, unlike the movie, when I left it sticking in her. <laughs> you know how to clean up. Right. Uh, I, I are, there, are there any stories that you're surprised didn't make it to the final cut? Because I know that you guys had. Right, 15 hours? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are a couple in there, in those 15 hours. Yeah. Yeah. I... I uh, and that was really, that was a, a marathon. Because I wasn't even supposed to be there. And then Marty called up and said, show up, come up, just come up. And then I just came up and then and that just happened that way. But that was like, you know, I showed up at eight o'clock at night and that hot tub thing was shot at like eight o'clock in the morning. So we were pretty much doing it all night. Much like this, that was a captive audience. <laughs>